Hi guys, this is Mark. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of Backendless Hosting, which is a component of the Backendless platform. Backendless Hosting, as you would expect, is a file storage, a file storage that is linked to your Backendless application and can be used for storing your static content, which are the files uploaded by the users of your application or uploaded by you in order to support the application, but it also supports dynamic content. And the dynamic content can be created by placing Node.js scripts into backendless hosting. And whenever a request comes in and hits a particular script, it is executed uh, and your business logic would be located within your scripts. Backendless hosting includes very rich APIs that your application can use to upload files, download files, copy, move, rename, delete files. So pretty much the entire suite of operations that you would expect to have in the file system. Backendless hosting is a very scalable, reliable, and very secure system. Whenever you execute operations, you can actually assign permissions to various users or roles in your app. And whenever those operations take place, then Backendless will automatically enforce whatever the security policies that exist uh, in and are in place. You can run entire website within Backendless Hosting and by combining static and dynamic content, you can create a very sophisticated system that, is, uh, uh, that, that provides the functionality of a very dynamic website. You can create mobile home pages and run them within Backendless Hosting. Inside of your Node.js scripts, which run in, uh, in Backendless Hosting, you can use Backendless API. So if you need to grab some data from your Backendless backend, you can just use Backendless API to load data and perform any kind of functions that you would need. The entire Backendless API, whatever, uh, everything that it provides is available to you within your uh, Node.js scripts running in Backendless Hosting. Additionally, there is a very powerful developer console that uh, you get as a part of developer console that you can use to manage your files, to edit your code, to edit your files, to uh, do any kind of manipulations on your file system. And what's also uh, very cool and powerful is the data objects that you store in the backendless MBAS system, you can link those objects to individual files. And that's powerful because whenever you retrieve those objects, you actually get the links to the files that you can download into your application as well. Backendless console supports file upload and you can upload not only individual files, but you can drag and drop the entire folder and all of it will be reconstructed within Backendless Hosting. Backendless Hosting as a component of the platform is available out of the box within uh, Backendless Cloud and managed Backendless and with some configuration uh, changes, it is also available within uh, Backendless Pro. So as you can see, it is, a, it is a very powerful and complete system that you can use to make your applications even richer and have the full support of the underlying system to work with the files. So I hope it gives you a good overview of what Backendless Hosting is. Definitely check out the abilities that you have within Developer Console. And uh, if you have any questions, please contact us either in our support forum or the Slack channel.